Barcelona beats Real Betis 3-2 in an exciting game where Messi and Pedri both came off the bench. Happy Super Bowl Sunday, guys. All right, so Barcelona played right before the Super Bowl. Can't have it any better. Um, this game started out, I guess, where the main story would actually be the lineup, which is pretty pretty crazy, actually. So Barcelona's had a lot of games going on, and uh, they started the game. Alba, Lengle, Arujo, Mingueza in the back line. Ricky Pooch, Busquets, and Pjanic in the middle, right? This is more of a resting um lineup where Ricky Pooch and Pjanic are finally getting a chance, getting an opportunity to show that they can control the middle. Braithwaite at, out, up top on the left, Griezmann up top, and Dembele on the right. Okay, so while that's not Barcelona's best lineup, we can see what they're going to do. Let's give it a shot. Now, I'm sorry, I'm just going to come out of the gate and say this, okay? The first half was a little... Um, a little sloppy. Uh, unfortunately, Ricky Pooch did have an opportunity to control it. I know he's a fan favorite. I know people love him, but he gave so many passes directly to Betis. So many passes. He, it, he was seemed to be either had the jitters or something was wrong because even when there was a foul and it was a dead ball and he chose to pass the ball quickly to get the ball moving, he passed it to a player one on one, a hospital ball to Busquets that actually ended, ended up getting him cleated. It's like you saw the guy was there. It's almost like he. Maybe when he's got nerves, I don't know, maybe he's a little stressed out. I'm not sure what it is, but he's not seeing clear lanes of passing. So I don't know what it is. Um, Barcelona continues to move forward. They've literally, um, they, we, we saw some good stuff, right? But at the very beginning, Rujo actually got injured seven minutes in. Um, and instead of choosing Umtiti at that time um, or Serginho Dest, they actually put in Frinke de Jong in the very first seven minutes in as a center back he did a good job we know he's defensively uh, qualified we know that he can play that perfectly um and he did so the game was going well until about the 38th minute and uh Borja Iglesias he gave them the lead in the 38th minute they failed to muster any type of defense on it, it was a cross straight there uh it was going down and Jordi up aside, he was just got a little bit ahead of his able to cross the ball straight to him. Boom, went in. It actually went between Sir, um, actually, Ter Stegen's legs. That's okay. We're down 1-0. Going to halftime, you're thinking, okay, all right, Kuman, what's what are we gonna do next? What are we gonna do? And believe it or not, he actually made some some changes. And he doesn't always do that, uh, especially at halftime. Uh, but he did replace. He did replace the lineup going after the 50th minute. So he started. Obviously, Frankenstein was already in there for Arujo, but then he actually took out Braithwaite for Pedri, and there the half started. You could already see it. there was a lot more movement. Pedri is already getting a lot more done. Then, um, I actually feel like Ronald Koeman, we need this win. You got to understand, if Barcelona lost this game, they fall from second place where they were before the game out down to fourth. We needed the win. We're down 1-0. Ronald Koeman decided to put Messi in as a sub at the 57th minute for Ricky Pooch. And like I said, Ricky Pooch was not doing himself any favors in that game right there. So now you've got Pedri, and I think I think the goal was to try to get Pedri in to work um, with Ricky Pooch, and it just wasn't connecting, so he decided to put Messi in for Ricky Pooch. Then you got the Pedri Pooch, or the, sorry, the, the Pedri-Messi connection, and it started going, I mean, let's... Honestly, it was such a fast impact, such a quick impact that Messi already scored in the 59th minute. Takes the ball from the right side, cracks it near post, low goal. So it's one to one. Things are moving along pretty good, right? And it, things were things were good. And so then, unfortunately, they are unable to keep that. Um, we keep going on. The ball's going on. Believe it or not. Beautiful play down the left side. Barca or Barcelona, Messi gets the ball, cut it down to the left. You got a beautiful play down to the left side. The running man, Jordi Alba's involved, cross the ball right to right to Griezmann, and he misses the ball completely. But luckily, Victor Ruiz on goal in the 68th minute. Now you, you're looking at a situation where we've got a 2-1 lead. This is great. I mean, because it was not that much farther in. 68th minute, 2-1 lead. The ball keeps complaining, but unfortunately, there was a it was a foul right outside the box. 
um Busquets does it but it's a free kick but just now we know the way Barcelona has been playing a free kick is just as dangerous as a penalty kick unfortunately so they got the ball outside of the left um, box cross the ball in and for some reason I don't know how we just cannot defend these we cannot stand up I don't know if we need to be sitting on the baseline and running forward to clear them out but it always feels like we're trying to hold a, a line in an area where the other team just runs through it jumps up and heads it down Two on one, Busquets falls to the ground, and the gentleman who had the own goal now redeems himself. Victor Ruiz gets a goal in the 75th minute. Oh boy. The game keeps playing. There's a lot of good movement. Barcelona's got the majority of their attack going down the sides. There wasn't as much movement down the middle, which seems to be a pattern of things going on. I think they said it was like 10 runs on the left, 10 runs on the right. A lot of pressure in the, in the second half. And wouldn't you know, you get a goal from Trincao. Messi's trying to play the ball to uh, trying to play the ball right up to the middle, but the ball gets flicked. I think it was going to Dion, gets flicked back because when Chichi came in, he flicked back at the corner of the 18-yard box in the offense, and Trincao, never giving up on the play, runs up, steals the ball that was kind of loose inside the box, cracks it, upper left B, looks like it even hit Real Betis' hand, which should have been a penalty if he didn't make it, but he cracked the goal. The team was so happy. Barcelona wins, 3-2 win, Real Betis away game. I think it's so many consecutive games. It's either six or seven consecutive games that they've won. This is amazing, you guys. Barcelona's now in, continues to be in second place, come from behind with the starting lineup not necessarily there in the first half, coming back on, and you can see all the difference the team makes. You can see all the difference Pedri makes, all the different Messi makes. Trincao was able to put his mark on the game, and I got to still work on those set plays. You got to stay I mean, these set plays, it's just crazy that we just get jumped over as if we're standing still and they're running onto the ball. Either way, everybody, have an amazing Super Bowl Sunday. Talk to everyone soon. Join the channel if you like. Trying to stay up on the games. Things have been crazy. Talk to you later.